Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy Gavallis, the Kitchen Cabinet Guy. In this episode, I'm going to tell you something that happened to me recently um, in, our, in our showroom uh, that's been happening a lot lately. So I spent some time with a, a, a client of a builder, building a new home for him. So he came in, his first visit, we explored different options. We ended up at the Brookhaven level. Um, so I worked up a budget number for him, just a roundabout number based on a rough, rough set of drawings uh, that the client brought in. So that price came in in, in the high 20s, uh, which is a good price for Brookhaven uh, based on the, on the size of the kitchen, huge kitchen. So the client didn't want to spend that kind of money. That's fine. So we had a second visit. He comes in, we pick up a, a different level of cabinetry. Um, I, think, I think we ended up on the second level, second selection was a, a Timberlake. Um, so it's more of a, even though it's considered a semi-custom line because it has semi-custom capability, it's really a stock line. Um, so we ended up at Timberlake and Timberlake came in, I, I think it was not in the mid to high teens. And he didn't want to spend that much money either. Now the funny part is he's spending $27,000, $27,000 on appliances, but he wants to spend about $12,000 on cabinets. So this is something that's been happening a lot lately. And this is not a cheap home that he's having built. He's having a, a, a decent home uh, uh, being built by, 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 by a builder in, in, um, in our area. So I found it not odd, but I'm seeing a trend. And the reason this trend is starting to take place is because cabinets at the lowest level product offering, which is the stock level, you get beautiful doors, soft close features, good finishes, a good box, and you can come in that price for that set of cabinets can come in in the low to mid teens. He can spend you know twelve grand or fifteen grand on his cabinets and spend twenty seven thousand on super high end appliances. Put a granite top on the cabinets when it's done, and you got yourself a high end look just because the appliances are high end. The finish at the stock level is good today. You put a stone top on it. And all of a sudden you got a high end look and he didn't spend tens of thousands of dollars that a custom kitchen would have cost. It's a little alarming to me, but it doesn't make me afraid of what's to come because this is the way the industry is evolving. The cabinets are so much better at the lower price point that homeowners can get away with it, builders can get away with it. I think it should be considered. Good luck with your project.